The Lord said, Follow me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for August the 25th, 2020, according to St. Mark. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to, me, to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish, fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending their nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with, with the hired men and followed him. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, he entered the synagogue and talked. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. It is the calling of the Lord. I must reckon with you that when God started calling me, I didn't immediately leave everything. Forgive me, my Lord. That's the truth. And my brothers must know that. It was very, very hard for me to leave everything behind. When he called me first, I was a married man with two children, with my business. And there are some fools that say, that slander me, saying that I always wanted to be a priest. No, by no means I didn't. I never ever wanted to be a priest until the day that my bishop, my, our bishop, called me and said, Father, we want, you, we, we want you to be a priest. That night, I started thinking about you, about my small community. Not about me. God had prepared me three years to be able to think about you, not me. Because I, I was thinking about going back to my business. I was thinking about going back to my, my things, my family, my, my everything. It is the calling of the Lord to serve Him. Certainly there are times when the Lord Himself calls children, whether they be male or female. But never do they say that they are going to be priests or bishops or whatever. They never. When God starts calling someone in the, old, in, in the young age, they just become holy slowly, slowly. They usually would go to the church and serve there without pretense, without desires. And then the priests and the bishops get to know them and feel the presence of the Holy Spirit in them. And thus they might be just helpers, altar helpers when they are young. And later on they might chant in the chorus. Later on they might be, re they might be readers. They might become subdeacons, deacons, and eventually priests. According to what the Lord is calling them. With great suspicion, I see the great majority of the Romans, and of course all the pastors in the world, that say, I want to become a priest. So you shouldn't say that. It's not for you. And why do they say that? Because either they don't like to work, they want to hide themselves, they want to be protected, they want to become something that they are not. But it's not because they want to serve anyone. And even within the Orthodox Church, but not for long, there are those that would even renounce to a canonical church where they might be serving because they are not being promoted as they think they should be into priesthood or into any other thing. And they would rather go into this uncanonical thing, which is not the church, and then be ordained a priest, be ordained or whatever, it's just a lie. 
It's not the truth. You're not being ordained to anything. You are forsaking your salvation in the Orthodox Church. But there, and even I know, one that, that is so close into my heart that acts like that. It tears my heart. He tears my heart. I pray for him every day. Please pray for him. God will know. I will not say his, words, his name. But if you say, Lord, help that person that the Father Angel is talking about, he will know. God will know and will listen to you. If one of you would do that, I'm sure that he will be saved. God is the one that calls us. That is, qual that is why in, um, in English, coming from Latin, it is called vocation, vocare. Somebody is calling you. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.